And it looks nice. There we go. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here with Majors Academy Dog Training out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I've been asked by a few folks to make a video on just explaining a little bit about leash aggression and sort of the fundamentals and how to improve it or how to avoid it becoming that issue. So what you want to remember about on leash with your dog is that you're building a relationship with the dog on leash. Okay? This needs to be a relationship filled with trust. And in order to do that, you have to keep your dog from certain things that may seem dangerous uh, in the way of causing your dog to lose trust on leash. So one of the things that I do uh, is keep your dog away from unruly dogs on leash or off leash for that matter. But for this video's sake, if you see a dog that's out of control, you avoid that dog, okay? Because what happens is we want to say hi to other, our dogs. You want to say hi to other dogs on leash. You want to speak to the neighbors. And what happens is that dog may become aggressive. The other dog, the stranger dog, may become aggressive and uh, make your dog very nervous on leash, okay? So you really have to avoid that situation. Um, the other thing that you want to do is uh, structure the, the walk correctly to build trust. You must have boundaries in order to build trust. All right. Um, so one of the things, one of the things that I do to build trust is uh, establish a hill walk. A walk that has boundaries will build trust. So um, the hill, which means keeping your dog from pulling on leash. Your dog should not be pulling you. Your dog should be walking nicely with a loose leash right, right, right by your side. And these are one of the things that if you've already lost trust, this is one of the things that you can do to build it again. So that's the first thing you should do to build that trust. If you already have a dog that's nervous about people or dogs on leash, you have to structure the walk. You have to provide boundaries on the walk. If the dog is allowed to do what the dog wants to do on the walk, then the dog is allowed to feel how the dog is going to feel when it encounters things that make them nervous, aggressive, things like that. So, but if they have boundaries on the walk, they're going to start to look to you uh, as opposed to uh, falling into their insecurities themselves. So, um, when I'm walking dogs, I want the dog to know that no matter what goes on, trucks, other dogs, people, squirrels, rabbits, that the dog has to walk a certain way. And in doing that, we start to build a relationship where the dog starts to see the world the way that I see it. Not every dog that you see on leash is going to cause harm. Not every person that comes close is going to cause harm. So, again, the most important thing is to provide non-negotiable boundaries on the walk. Do not let your dog dictate which direction you go. Do not let your dog dictate where you stop. Do not let the dog pee on every plant. The majority of the walk, the dog should be doing what you want them to do as opposed to the other way around. That's how you're going to build trust. That's how you're going to improve leash aggression. So start providing non-negotiable boundaries for your dog in order to establish and um, a good line of communication and also to build trust. Okay. So even if you have a puppy, it doesn't matter. 
Even if you have an old dog that's been pulling on leash its whole life, it doesn't matter. Okay? Just provide non-negotiable boundaries on the walk and your walks will get better. All right? I'm going to keep this video short for anybody who is viewing it. If you have any questions about leash aggression, please type now. We'll hang out here just a little bit. And um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and type it. But if you liked it, please give it a like. If you found it helpful, please share it. If you think it could help someone else, please share it. Um, or if you disagree, please let me know. Let's see some dogs. Alright guys, Jeremy Majors, Majors Academy Dog Training. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.